Some stars are so old that they seem to defy the laws of physics. They have been shining for longer than the universe itself, according to our best estimates. How is that possible? How can a star be older than the universe? That is the question that has puzzled astronomers for decades, and it is the topic of this video. We will explore the story behind the oldest known star in the universe, Methuselah, and how it challenges our understanding of the early cosmos. We will also explain how astronomers measure the age of stars and how they resolved the apparent paradox of a star being older than everything else. If you are curious to understand these discoveries and what they mean for our knowledge of the origins of the universe, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Stars are like cosmic clocks. They tell us how old they are by their brightness, color, and chemical composition. But measuring these properties is not easy. It requires sophisticated instruments and techniques, and it involves many uncertainties and assumptions. One of the methods that astronomers use to measure the age of stars is spectroscopy. This is the study of how light interacts with matter. By analyzing the spectrum of a star, which is the distribution of light across different wavelengths, astronomers can determine what elements are present in the star and in what proportions. This gives them clues about the star's history because stars change their composition over time as they fuse lighter elements into heavier ones in their cores. Another method that astronomers use to measure the age of stars is parallax. This is the apparent shift in position of an object when viewed from different angles. By observing how a star moves relative to more distant background stars over the course of a year, astronomers can calculate its distance from Earth using simple geometry. Knowing the distance of a star is important for estimating its age, because it allows astronomers to correct for the effects of interstellar dust and gas that can dim and redden the star's light. A third method that astronomers use to measure the age of stars is stellar models. These are mathematical equations that describe how stars evolve over time, depending on their mass, temperature, luminosity, and composition. By comparing the observed properties of a star with those predicted by different models, astronomers can find the best match and infer the age of the star. However, none of these methods are perfect. They all have limitations and sources of error that can affect the accuracy of the estimates. For example, spectroscopy depends on how well we understand the physics of atoms and molecules and how they interact with light under different conditions. Parallax depends on how precisely we can measure small angles in the sky and how well we know the shape and motion of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Stellar models depend on how accurately we can simulate the complex processes that occur inside stars, such as nuclear reactions, convection, rotation, and magnetic fields. All these factors introduce uncertainties in the measurements, which means that there is always a range of possible ages for any given star, rather than a single exact value. The challenge for astronomers is to reduce these uncertainties as much as possible by using multiple methods and independent data sets and by refining their instruments and techniques. One star that has tested the limits of these methods is Methuselah, also known as HD 140283. This star is located about 190 light years away from Earth in the constellation Libra. It is one of the fastest moving stars in our galaxy, traveling at 800,000 miles per hour, 1.3 million kilometers per hour. But more importantly, it is one of the oldest stars in our galaxy, and possibly in the entire universe. Methuselah was first discovered in 1912 by American astronomer Henry Norris Russell. He noticed that it had a very low metallicity, which means that it contains very little elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. This indicates that it was formed very early in the history of the universe, before most metals were created by successive generations of stars. Since then, Many studies have tried to estimate Methuselah's age using different methods and data sets. However, they all faced a problem. Methuselah seemed to be older than the universe itself. According to our best estimates based on observations of the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMB, which is the relic radiation left over from the Big Bang, the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. However, some studies have suggested that Methuselah could be as old as 16 billion years, or even 18 billion years. How could this be? The answer lies in revising some of the parameters and assumptions involved in calculating Methuselah's age. In 2013, 
a team of astronomers led by Howard Bond used a combination of spectroscopy, parallax, and stellar models to measure Methuselah's age with unprecedented precision. They used data from several telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, the European Space Agency's Hipparcos Satellite, and the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope. They also accounted for some factors that previous studies had overlooked, such as the effects of helium diffusion and gravitational settling in the star's core, which can make the star appear younger than it really is. The result was that Methuselah's age was revised downward to 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This means that Methuselah could be anywhere between 13.66 and 15.26 billion years old. This still overlaps with the age of the universe, but it does not exceed it. The apparent paradox of a star being older than the cosmos was resolved. Methuselah's existence has profound implications for our understanding of the early universe and the formation of the first stars. Methuselah belongs to a class of stars called Population II stars, which are metal-poor stars that formed from the material enriched by the first generation of stars, called Population III stars. These stars are thought to have been very massive, very hot, and very short-lived, and they are responsible for producing most of the heavy elements in the universe through supernova explosions. However, no Population III star has ever been observed directly, because they are very rare and very distant. Methuselah is one of the closest and oldest relics of that era, and it can provide valuable clues about the conditions and processes that shaped the early cosmos. For example, Methuselah's age can tell us something about the time interval between the Big Bang and the formation of the first stars, also known as the Cosmic Dark Ages. If Methuselah is closer to the lower end of its age range, then it means that the first stars formed very soon after the Big Bang, within a few hundred million years. If Methuselah is closer to the upper end of its age range, then it means that the first stars formed later, perhaps a billion years or more after the Big Bang. Methuselah's composition can also tell us something about the nature and properties of the first stars. By analyzing the abundance and ratios of different elements in Methuselah's spectrum, astronomers can infer what kind of supernova explosion produced them and what kind of star exploded. For instance, Methuselah has a very high ratio of oxygen to iron, which suggests that it was enriched by a supernova from a very massive star, perhaps more than 100 times the mass of our Sun. Methuselah's motion can also tell us something about the structure and evolution of our galaxy. Methuselah is part of a group of stars called halo stars, which orbit around the center of our galaxy in highly elliptical and inclined paths. These stars are thought to be remnants of smaller galaxies that merged with our galaxy in the past. By tracing Methuselah's orbit and velocity, astronomers can reconstruct its origin and history and learn more about how our galaxy grew over time. This star is a fascinating star that challenges our knowledge and imagination. It is a witness to some of the most important events in the history of the universe and a key to unlocking some of its mysteries. It is also a reminder that there is still much to learn about our cosmic origins and that there may be other surprises waiting for us in the depths of space. Thank you for watching this video about how a star can be older than the universe. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.